there's this issue with, it's a big issue for a lot of people. I know there have been um, a lot of theories about this because of the failures of our law enforcement to solve the murder. Uh, it's the issue of Seth Rich. Now, Seth Rich was uh, a young man who was murdered here in Washington, D.C. He, his technical position was with, um, well, he w worked for the Democratic National Committee. His position there uh, was voter expansion data director. And Smith was, uh, excuse me, Rich was only 27 when he was murdered. Terrible. Uh, in July of 2016. And the murder remains unsolved. And there were some weird things about the murder. Uh, he was shot in the back. Uh, most, much of his belong, you know, not, he wasn't robbed, so they left everything there. And uh, based on our investigation, we have reason to believe the police handled this death a bit differently than it otherwise would. Uh, in terms of crime in the area in which he uh, uh, was killed, uh, you know, the criminals don't normally do what happened there. They, you know, they don't shoot someone and leave them lying in the street unrobbed. It's an, it was an unusual set of circumstances. And of course, it's unsolved, which raises additional questions. And then on top of all of that, you had Julian Assange of WikiLeaks suggests that Seth Rich was a WikiLeaks source. Now, I don't know if that's the case, but he said that. So that raised all sorts of other questions. So we had asked the FBI for documents about Seth Rich, and we've asked the, just, the DC police, we haven't gotten anything from them because they say the investigation's still open. But we'd asked the FBI for documents. We didn't get any answer. I think another request showed, suggested they had nothing. So we just had to sue for Seth Rich documents. And why do we think the FBI had records? Because in another case, we found Seth Rich records. I told you about this WikiLeaks scandal. Julian Assange um, had put out an award, a reward of $20,000 for information regarding Rich's death. So the public affairs official in the uh, the FBI was sending this email around and it, and it percolated through Page and Strzok, Lisa Page and Peter Strzok. So we thought, well, this is curious. What is this Seth Rich story doing in here? And the way it was handled, the, uh, one of the officials says, I squashed the story with someone, denying any specific involvement. Weird set of emails. I don't know why the FBI wouldn't be investigating this in light of Assange's investigations or allegations. So we sued for records. I don't know what we're going to find. You know, but the media would have you believe you're not allowed to raise questions about the death of Seth Rich. Fact is, the poor man was murdered. The circumstances of the death are unusual. You've got this potential connection to national, international stories as Roger Stone is seeing, why wouldn't the FBI be investigating this? Maybe they found nothing. Maybe they found all, you know, Julian Assange was just trying to take advantage of the rich murder uh, to distract from the fact that the actual source for the documents was from Russia. I mean, that, that may be true. But what was going on? And why can't they just tell us one way or another if they have documents in a forthright way? That's why we had to sue. Media doesn't want to do anything on this. Congress doesn't want to do anything on this. But I do know the American people want some answers on Seth Rich's murder. The answers may be, it's a terrible tragedy. He was the victim of a random act of violence, as is too often the case in our major urban areas, especially here in D.C., but I do know from Judicial Watch's experience that uh, anyone um, who is of a political nature, any, you know, anyone, let's put this way, if you die and you're involved in politics in some way, your case is handled in a different way. Unfortunately, it's usually mishandled because the politicians get involved, whether or not there's any reason for them to be involved. Could be just a straightforward crime, but they got to muck it yet up. So I guarantee you, Seth Rich's murder led to political involvement in the murder investigation in a way that may have resulted in the investigation not being pursued appropriately, all leads not being followed appropriately. 
So that's what our lawsuit's about. And um, I love Judicial Watch because we're not cowed by the major media who doesn't want to ask questions about the death of Seth Rich. So uh, we're, I'll let you know if we find anything there. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.